drones play a pivotal role in the data that we can go capture and the abilities that it affords us to have on a job site. The H520 is a very good machine because of its design with the hexacopter structure. You can actually lose one of the rotors and still fly. The orange color of the Unique really stands out in the sky, so it's very easy to keep track of. One of my favorite things is once you're up in the air, the landing gear retracts and you have a full 360 degree view of the site. Whereas with a lot of the quadcopters, the, the camera is fixed and you can actually get into some conditions where depending on the attitude of the, the aircraft, you can get the landing gear in the picture. And that pretty much ruins a mission. Because of the build of it, you can actually have two cameras at once. It becomes a very versatile machine. You can really do everything that you need to do on the job site with this one machine. It really just provides a whole new look at the construction job that you would not typically see if you're sitting in an office or at a job trailer. On a typical building job, we try to capture weekly at the first two or three months of the job because that's when all of the site work is going on. And then hit specific stages. Then you get to the building. So you've got all the preparation for the foundation. You've got the foundation being poured. You're erecting steel. You're doing concrete tilt wall panels, all these different things. So these are all special things that a drone can really help highlight. I can come out and my typical MO is to do a flight plan, capture the map. Then I'll do a 3D mode and fly around the building and capture engineering type inspections and pictures directly related to the rendering of the building. And then we'll do some more artistic kind of architectural uh, isometric or oblique shots like you would see traditionally from aerials. And then we'll fly video. So you've got, you know, basically you've got four different missions uh, every time I come out. Once we've gone out to the site and gathered all the data, we'll actually bring that back into the office and download it to the computer. And Drone Deploy will bring them in. Once all of those images have been processed, I can go right into that map. It's a very high resolution stitched image. Then you've got these different categories that you can look at. You can look at a 3D model of the site. Pretty amazing that from photos looking straight down that you can capture contours. Once I've processed all the data, I go onto the site, I'll do things like annotate the map or quantify some of the stockpiles. And then I draft my own email saying that new data is available and I share that with the project management team. There's a pretty good group of folks that get that data and then I also like to share it back with our estimating teams so that they can keep track of what's being built and, and at what point of the, the process the, the project is at. Every morning, the uh, site supervisors will get together with our employees, subcontractors, whoever's working on that site, and they can use these drone images, basically point to specific areas on the site so that everybody's on the same page. It actually allows the superintendents and the project managers a, a more frequent opportunity to make decisions as far as site logistics and planning of the next stage of construction. It helps me to communicate with my subs, helps me correct things before they become bigger problems and more people have to go backwards to fix it. So it's, it's invaluable. Drones are very good at providing visual information. We believe that that's something that's very important when we're doing a construction job. Owners and developers, they like to see what they're paying for. I get a lot of requests for 360 degree panoramic photos because you can set those up at different positions across the site and you can go into that bubble and look around wherever you want to look. And then also they like video. As far as building a model, you want to go show it on that site in the real world to kind of go bridge that gap in the owner's mind of here's this conceptualized building, but I want to go put it on your site. So it's a very powerful communication tool in that aspect. One of the immediate pieces of ROI in the way that I can justify the cost for the drone program for the year is by saving survey labor. I can fly a 50 acre site, process the data in two hours, and it would probably take our surveyors about 12 to 15 hours to do that. We are taking our survey crews out of more dangerous situations, places where it's not really conducive to walking around or climbing on top of a roof or a giant stockpile of rocks. Drones are a data collection tool and help us mitigate risk. The ROI is invaluable. Drones are much safer than traditional survey methods. 
You're taking people that could potentially get into hazardous situations, trying to climb on tops of roofs to do an inspection, and you're eliminating that. But at the same time, you're actually capturing more data than what that person could have captured, and you're able to provide a, a better analysis. If you're entering that drone market, there is a foundation that has been built, and the resources are in place to go help you support that program. The metrics are definitely there to go prove this technology is much more adaptable and efficient and can go improve your business.